Hello YouTubers, it is now time for the next segment of my birthday tributes to Mike LaRocco and Mikel Pichon, where I'm still working on the birthday tributes to Mike LaRocco. Just check the, uh... Okay. I'm going to go for 10 minutes, I'm going to do a supercross race, and I'm going to do a motocross race. Once again, I will be racing for supercross from Pontiac. Because at the time, it was the last time La Rock, the last time LaRocco won was 1995 at Pontiac. <laughs> Rocco, the whole shot. Oh, Huffman on the inside. But I'm going to come back. I can get the timing right here. I can triple into the corner. But I can't do it consistently, though. That's the only problem. Gotta extend the bike to make it over this triple. Hit the shiny area. Can I still make it? Yeah. Trying to land on the downside right there. Make it that time. Of course, uh, at the time, Mike Larocco it just came off of a strong. Another strong Supercross season where he finished third in the Supercross behind David Villeman and Jeremy McGrath in 2000. But in 2001, I think LaRocco got third overall again behind Carmichael and McGrath. And little did we know that that was the last that we would ever see 
That 01 would be the last time that Jeremy would ever win a race. 01 Anaheim 2. Oh! Came up a little short there. But I'm just gonna go single double in, in the corner. The 125s cannot triple into that corner. Even if you get the timing right, it's still tough to do. Virtually impossible. In fact, that section right there was also where Stefan Ricotta had a pretty bad crash in qualifying, but he still managed to make the main event. Where he tried to trickle into the rhythm section, went got catapulted off the bike like a bull threw him off. Right there is a nice square off. Ah, almost. That second triple, I thought the 125s didn't have a lot of didn't have a lot of torque to clear the jump. But it was possible. Because I remember one time I did a 125 race here. And I ended up being able to clear that triple jump. under three minutes left in the race. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, came up short. And that's a big triple right there. If you don't get the run of that, it's a lot smarter move to back off, which is what I should have done. Extended the bike, able to triple into the turn. Blitz. I was able to blitz a few whoops, which is good. Triple, triple, and triple.
probably be the last lap. Not too bad. gonna be close, but it's not gonna work. Got the win. Uh, looks like I got a low battery. So we'll take a so there's your results. And I'll get ready for the national race. Okay guys, I'm now ready for the national race. I'm actually gonna reduce it. I'm just gonna go for five laps because I have just that one battery, just that one bar left on my battery. Definitely should have done something last night, but I didn't, so I pay the price right now. That's okay, though. Here we go. Lost with the whole shot. I'm racing my national race from my motocross race from Kenworthy in Troy, Ohio. Dirty dozen. Man, I railed the outside. Going for five laps now. That's probably also the equivalent of a ten minute race. Because I just went two minutes on my lap time. Of course, Mike LaRocco won the Kenworthy race back in 1994. And as I said earlier, his last national win was. Unadilla in 1999, where he went 1 2 on the day.
nice blend of supercross. There's practically no elevation here at Troy. And if there's one track on this circuit, uh oh. Oh crap. I got a little too close to the side of the track. If there's one track on the circuit that I'm really sad to see gone, it's this one, Kenworthy's. But even so, I still made a lap record, 158. Wow. Two fifty uh, two fifty. I am able to clear good distances. Of course, I have yet to do my birthday tribute to Mikel Pichon, but I'm going to try to get to it when I can. No guarantee I'm going to get to it today, but I know Monday I have a, a lot of work to do, at least in terms of this. My school stuff is pretty much okay. Don't have anything due for a while. that inside line ever since I railed that outside line on Lust earlier. And there is going to be an update to this, and that is that I'm going to check MX Unleashed. If Mike Morocco is featured in this game, then I will do that as a segment. As of right now, he's not. As of right now, I did not put that down. Going back to the announcement video I made of the six brighter birthday tributes that I was going to do. But in that one, I'm, I'm going to also alter the options where the only thing you hear is the sound of the bikes and not any music. Ugh! Too close again. I should be able to hold on. My camera should be able to hold on though. Seven seconds over my nearest opponent. Of course, to the last two segments, 
MX Unleashed and MX vs. ATV Unleashed. I'm just going to do Supercross races because that's when Morocco went Supercross only in 2004. Extend it. Uh, came up a little short. Doesn't matter though. Got the win. Won by 10 seconds over Lust. Huffman in third, Albertine, Emig, Dowd, and Ward. And I'm going to charge my camera up. And the next segment you will see will be MX Superfly featuring Ricky Carmichael, both Supercross and Motocross races. Where they will be from, I do not know yet. So I will see you guys soon.